half ton towable, under 6,000 pounds, and has a ton of storage. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the 2025 Keystone Bullet 2840 QB. It is not, and I mean it is not, built on a Lippard frame. It is a nice half ton towable travel trailer with a ton of storage and great sleeping accommodations. If this is the first time you have seen one of my videos, I do about an eight to 10 minute walkthrough of the entire travel trailer and talk about it without any weird editing, sound effects, or special effects. So let's get started. First off, it comes with two five gallon propane tanks an area to put two 12 volt batteries. Come over here, we go to the weight sticker. Zoom in. Okay, the unloaded weight of the vehicle, the dry weight is 5,940 pounds. The GVWR is 7,800 pounds with two 4,400 pound axles on 15 inch tires. I'm sorry, 15 inch rims, okay. Going here, you have nice pass-through storage. I wish it was a little wider, but hey, it's still deep and tall. It does have the solar charge controller, which means this particular one has solar already. Tankless hot water heater. And as you can see, if you haven't seen the other walkthrough video I did, endless hot water. This unit is equipped with an on-demand hot water heater. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have to have some sarcasm when it comes to RVs. Now, a lot of you have told me you love the on-demand hot water heater. I'm indifferent still. Uh, maybe it'll grow on me, just like the 12-volt refrigerator has grown on me. But let me know what you think in the comments section. Would you rather have a hot water heater with a tank or an endless tank or a tankless hot water heater? It's prepped with a backup camera, or prepped for a backup camera, I should say. If we look here, it's got it's got storage similar to like a Class C motorhome. You have all this big pass-through back here. So you have two outside storage areas. And to me, that's important, especially if you have a family of let's say four to six to eight going with you. There's a ton of things you have to take, lawn chairs, barbecues, kids toys i mean it can get insane get insane sorry i can't speak today for whatever reason nice sized power awning black tank flush coming over here as you can see right here it says it does have solar just like we saw in the earlier thermal package which includes a 30,000 btu furnace and if you look here it has another sticker saying that it's prepped for a tv bracket so you can have an outside tv walking inside All right, so as you can see, this is the kind of stuff that comes with a PDI. So this just came into this dealership not that long ago. And again, this is the little things that always have to be reattached every single time we get a new travel trailer in. Remember, this thing goes down the road for like 3,000 miles. Well, actually like 2,200. So things come loose. That's the reason why we have to do a prep. That's just a trim piece. You got a walk around queen bed. We're gonna look at the closet space inside real quick. By the way, if you enjoy the way I walk, do these walkthrough videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as it helps the channel grow. If you don't like the way I do these things, give me a little criticism in the comments section. Let me know what I can do to improve on it. Maybe you do like weird editing, I don't know. Okay, coming into the living room, you have your fold-down sofa, U-shaped dinette. Now, what's interesting about the U-shaped dinettes, we're going to see if this one has it. See that little hole? That means you can lift out the cushions, lift that up, and you actually have storage under that side of the dinette and this side. So you can actually store stuff under the dinette as well. We'll call it hidden storage. <laughs> Now, me personally, I prefer the cabinet doors rather than doing that. And my 
biggest thing I love, and I really love, is when it has the pull-out drawers. So, you know, we can't have it all. Not everybody builds them the same way, right? Okay, the kitchen has decent counter space. Not great, not bad, but very decent. I love the one-piece sink because the one-piece sink means I can cook chili, tortilla soup, uh, pasole, uh, you know, you need big pots and pans. You need a big sink to be able to wash those pots and pans. I love that. A lot of you said you like the two-piece sink. There's nothing wrong with liking that. TV, which is directly across from the couch and dinette, so nobody has to cock their head to the side like that. <laughs> okay, so you got a three burner stove. Let's look at some of these drawers. Those are decent, not great, but decent. They're deep enough where you can still fit a lot of your utensils. That's a decent little area. I'd probably say that's for a trash can. You let me know what you think. Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't see this coming in. You can open this from both sides. Look at this. Oh, that's bitchin'. I like that. That rocks. Oh, look at that. More drawers. Boy, that's smart. That's That feels like it's not a waste of space. I like that. Okay, coming over here. Of course, you have a microwave. Then you got your 12-volt refrigerator. As, if you guys don't know, the propane electric is almost gone out of this industry. And I did a video on that. If you want to look it up, I actually did do a video on that. Okay, we're going to close that for now so we can get to this area, which is the pantry. So it's kitty cornered into the corner of the wall, so it gives you more space. It may not have the length, but it has the depth. Same thing at the bottom. So that's pretty good storage and good pantry space. Now the weakness. The weakness is the bathroom. Good Lord. Now, some people might consider this a positive thing. That the toilet is in kind of a weird area where you kind of feel like you're in a sardine can. So for the gentlemen that like to spend time sitting and reading on their phone, you're not going to be able to feel comfortable enough to do that in here. So it might be quicker. So that might actually be a benefit, especially if you get a large family. So I look at it from both sides. Good kit, good counter space. I just wish they used the bigger sink. And then again, the same shower as the 2240RK. You're going to see a lot of the showers are very similar. It's got the pan inside, so it prevents a lot of water from splashing around. And then everybody's personal favorite, especially if you have children, the separate bunk room. Yay! We get separation from the children with a closed door. But the benefit is, when we open this up, we got an area for the children's clothes and toys. And then they got even smarter and put drawers in here for more of the clothes. Mostly clothes. You're going to have to fold clothes. This is not going to fit toys. These are going to be like your foldable socks, your underwear, your shirts, your shorts. That area might fit some toys. You can also, some folks have told me that they rip out this whole area and put like a desk in there for an office. I mean, you can do different things with this. All right, if you have any questions, please send me an email. My email and my social media is all in the description box below on how to contact me. Please join us on X, which is formerly Twitter, uh, if you haven't already. Also, there's merchandise store link in the uh, description box below, so you can get your shirts, your hats, everything helps the channel grow. And in the top right-hand corner of this video, there's actually another bunkhouse travel trailer. It has a separate bedroom that I think you'll like better. It may be a little bit older, but I think you're going to like it better. And then until next time, remember, toolkit and sense of humor.